Hey GearHeads, Nate here from the tech support team. Welcome back to BZB TV. Today we're going to be doing a setup video using some of our most popular packages, products that we combine together and uh, you request a lot of these um, and so we wanted to get a video out to you because I know a lot of times you have all these items in front of you, all the cables and you're like where do I even start? So we wanted to walk you through from start to finish, what goes where, what connects where, how things network, and how to put things together, and how it all works. And today we're gonna to be using two of our UPDZ cameras with our HD VSU video switcher, our HDMI switcher, as well as our eight port network switch, and adding in a, our commander joystick. Um, so let's get started. All right, so the first item we're gonna get set up here is our video switcher. So let's go ahead and go ahead, first thing, power it on. Let's plug it in there, screw it all in, and hit the power button. You got red and green lights, it's Christmas time, so we're good to go. Uh, this video switcher has two HDMI outs. One is for the program, and the other one is for the multi-view. Multi-view is kind of your preview screen where you can see all your cameras, adjust all your settings, and kind of do all the um, pre-work before going live. And so we have two monitors here, so we're gonna go ahead and plug those into those. The first one, actually I'm gonna do the multi-view out to this big TV right behind me. So that should pop up, boom, there we go. And then the second one is the PGM, and that's gonna be going to our preview monitor here on my left. And there's nothing there except for our logo uh, because we have nothing plugged into it yet. So everything, once plugged in, everything should pop up right away. If you're using uh, at least 1080p 60 monitors, that's the default uh, output on each monitor. And so, yeah, pretty easy setup. So now let's go ahead and start adding our cameras to this video switcher. And since these are cameras are PoE, we're actually gonna plug them into our eight port network PoE switch to power them on up. Eventually we're gonna go network them, but first I wanna get just the video preview coming through our video mixer. And so, and we're gonna do one camera at a time here. So we're gonna take the ethernet cable, I already have it plugged into the back of the camera and I'm gonna just plug it into port number one here on our, our PoE switch. So the camera should just uh, pop on up pretty easily. Give it a second, it's gonna do its little um, startup dance there. And then while that's going, I'm actually gonna take the HDMI out of this camera and plug it right into HDMI one on the video switcher. And then you'll see when this turns on, you're gonna see our lovely image of our our other uh, video switcher, our SDI switcher. And so, and the camera, I kind of defaulted it to on startup to go to that angle, just so we can see a beautiful image of another of our, uh, one of our products. So as you can see, it was really easy just to plug it in with HDMI. As you can see, it's in the preview. If I wanted to go into program, I'm just gonna hit one on the switcher. And there you go, it's on preview and program. And so, yeah, got that. So let's go ahead and power on our second camera. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into our PoE switch, number camera number two. So that's gonna power on as well. I'm gonna take the HDMI coming out of the second camera and go into HDMI two on the video switcher. I'll give it a second to turn on and it's gonna pop on up and then really easy just to toggle back and through on the switching. And it's gonna pop up, there we go. Now I'll put that in my preview here. And look at that, that is the box for our brand new uh, Adamo camera coming out very shortly here. So keep tuned for that, very exciting. And so we got our cameras on, and now let's get these cameras networked. So I'm gonna, since we have them already into our PoE switch, I wanna get, first I wanna get this switch onto our network. So I'm actually, this cable right here is coming from our local router. I'm gonna actually plug it into our switch as well. Do not plug into the console port, that is not for that. Just plug it in any of the ports on this PoE switch and that's gonna act as an uplink to share the local IP um, with the cameras, and then we're gonna eventually add a joystick, um, but now we have that connected to the network so it connects our cameras to each other. And so I'm gonna jump in on the computer over here. Also, to get your computer talking to your cameras, you wanna make sure your computer is plugged into the switch as well. I have a little network adapter for my laptop, so I'm actually gonna take a cable and plug it into the switch as well. 
So that way it's all connected and talking through our network switch. So let's go ahead and dive in. And also I'm gonna turn off one camera so they do not conflict while we're networking. So let's dive into that computer. So now that we're connected to our local network through our PoE switch, um, I'm gonna go to our ethernet connection in the bottom right corner of here. I'm using a Windows 10. I'm gonna go ahead and right click that, go open network and internet settings. And then I'm gonna go down to change adapter options. And then you'll see our connections here. I like to turn Wi-Fi off so there's no conflicting um, uh, networks or anything, especially if you have multiple networks going on, you want to make sure you're can direct if you if possible directly connected to your um, switch, so you know that you're um, directly connected to those cameras as well as a joystick if you add one. And so here's our local connection. And one thing you want to make sure that you know is your local IP, so you know which network you're going to network the cameras to. So. Um, there's multiple ways to do that, but just since we're on this page, you can easily right click that and, and go to right click your icon and go to status and then go to details and then you'll see your IP4 address. Well, ours is 192.168.20.104. 104 is the, the address of our computer. And then you also are going to want the default gateway, which is 192.168.20.1. That's for our local network. Um, so it, yours might be uh, 192.168.1. something or even 10.1.10. something as well. So just be aware of what your local network is, the IP4 address as well as the gateway. Um, so what we need to do is start talking to those, com those cameras first and knowing that the default IP address of the camera is a 192.168.5.163, we need to get onto that same subnet. So we're gonna go ahead and right click our ethernet connection. And this time we're gonna go to properties. And then I like to double click internet protocol version four. Right now we're obtaining an IP address automatically. So temporarily we're gonna static statically assign an IP address to this computer to talk to the first camera there. So I'm gonna do a 192.168, we'll do dot five, and then I can't put 163 because that's the address of the camera, so that's gonna be conflicting. So I'm gonna use uh, an address that I know that's not on use, it's 200. And then if I hit the tab button here, it's gonna fill in the subnet mask, and then I'm gonna hit tab again, it's gonna take me to the default gateway. I'm gonna hit a 192.168, and then I know it's a .5.1. And then all you have to do is hit okay, uh, hit yes. Uh, if you have, you're gonna hit okay, and then hit okay again, and it's gonna kick us off the internet, which is totally fine. Um, now we just gotta go to a um, internet browser. I'm gonna go to Google and put the default IP address of the camera, 192.168.5.163. And boom, pops up our login page right away. So I'm gonna do admin, admin is the password, username and password, hit okay. And look at that, there's our image. So briefly, I'm gonna go over how to network to your local network. And uh, so I'm gonna hit configurations. I'm gonna go down to ethernet on our network configure. And knowing that our local network is the 192.168.20, I'm gonna change that five to 20. And actually I'm gonna keep this address at 163 because I know that's not in use. Subnet mask, you keep the same. And then default gateway, we're gonna, we're gonna match what we saw there, which is 192.168.20.1. I'm gonna hit save, and then it's gonna ask you to restart. So you're gonna to go to the reboot at the bottom left here, and then click on the reboot button. And so right now, our camera should be restarting. It's gonna do um, its little recycle dance, our little startup dance. And so while that's doing that, I'm actually gonna switch my computer back to our local network. So I'm gonna actually go back to the same way we got there, right click connection points, or right click the ethernet icon, open network and internet settings, change adapter options, and then we're gonna to go to ethernet connection two, uh, go to properties, double click IP4, and then now we're just gonna set it back to obtain an IP address automatically, as well as the DNS. We didn't really change that, but I like to put that back on automatic to keep uh, consistent there. Hit okay, and it should, we should be back on our network, and we know we changed the IP address, so this is no longer available, but so we're gonna put the new IP address of the camera, 168.20 uh, now, dot 163, and hit okay. 
and we're logged into our camera and now it's on our local network and now unless you factory default the camera it's always going to be on that network and so that's how you network the camera to your local network and since camera number two um, if, if you would so for camera number two just uh, do the same exact process just make sure you have a separate ip i'm actually going to turn it on right now actually um, already already networked that one so i'm going to actually log into that camera as well to make sure we are good that 20 dot, it's turning on right now so it's going to take a second Oh, there's our login page and then it's going to it's still turning on but the page will pop up and then and it should pop up and there we go there's our two cameras and now they're both on our local network and they're both back on our screen here um, so that's how you network your cameras to your local network and then lastly we're going to show you how to add these cameras into your joystick which is really easy as well so let's jump over to the joystick all right, so to get our joystick connected to our cameras, we got to plug it into our network switch. This is a PoE enabled uh, joystick, so really easy to power on. So make sure when you also, you see the big mess here with cables, just when you're done, clean it all up. I'm gonna put this in port number five. So let's go ahead and uh, plug it in. All right, and so that is initializing right now. So first thing we're gonna do is get, e we can easily get this joystick on your local network by just switching over to DHCP. So once it's on, you wanna go ahead and hit setup. You can see that the native IP is 192.168.5, which does not match our local network. So we're gonna hit setup. And then we're gonna to toggle down to option number four, which is network attribute. And then I'm gonna to toggle to the right, cause right now it says static. We're gonna to go to DHCP. I'm gonna hit enter. It's gonna ask if you wanna restart and I'm gonna hit yes. So it's gonna restart and it's gonna pull uh, an IP address from our local network automatically. So, which is nice and then just able to easily sync up um, the cameras with the joystick. So right now it's a uh, configuring, initializing, um, so give it a second, there we go. All right, now you can see the native IP is a 192.168.20.135, which matches our local network. And so what we can do, we actually will have a whole video, another video on how to um, do step-by-step, -step, but for this, uh, for this video, I'm actually gonna use the web interface, which is actually really easy to network the camera. So let's jump in back over to the computer log in with that IP address and network these cameras through the, um, through the web GUI. So let's jump in. So now using that native IP of the joystick, we can log into the web GUI. And like I mentioned right on there on the joystick, it says that the native IP is 192.168.20.135. Um, and there we are, there's the login screen. And for this, all you have to do is put the username, which is admin, and there's no password, so you hit log in, and there we go. There is our seven uh, cam options. Um, so first one, we're gonna add our first camera here, and so just go to this little pencil, and you're gonna go to operate, and so we're gonna make this camera number one. Uh, we're gonna use the Visca protocol, um, which is a pretty universal protocol that we use um, with our cameras and our joystick. And so for the first camera, we, I remember we changed that to 192.168.20. So always write the IP addresses of the, that you assigned to the cameras. Write them down, 163. And port number is actually 1259. That's already preloaded there. Um, but for our, all of our UPDZ camera series, they're all one, the Visca port is 1259. And this is a network connection, not an analog. So you can ignore an analog for now and hit save. Save success. So now we're gonna jump back over to our joystick here. I'm gonna hit, um, let's go to hit, actually escape out. I'm gonna hit cam one, make sure it all connected, it says connected. And now we are moving our camera. And you can see up there, it is moving, panning left and right. You can zoom in, zoom out. And there we go. There's camera number one, that's good to go. So I'm gonna go back to our web GUI and go ahead and add camera number two. Go to our pencil here, camera number two, Visca, and then I remember this was 20.164, 
Port number is 1259. I'm gonna hit save, take successful, uh, jump over to our joystick, hit cam two, connect it, and we are moving our camera with our joystick. Pan left and right, zoom in, zoom out. Like I said, we have another video on the whole commander if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to operate it, but this is just a quick how-to to connect, and there we go. So one last thing is we want to show you how to now everything's connected. We got our cameras connected to our joystick so we can move them around. We got our video out, but now I know a lot of uh, users are worried about like live streaming. How do I get this into like Zoom or OBS Studio? So that's really easy. So all you have to do is take the, the USB 3.0 uh, A to C cable that came with the, the mixer. I'm going to plug it in because this is a capture device as well. So you're gonna go ahead and plug it into the USB out. And we're gonna go ahead and plug this right into our computer. Let's see, I'm gonna use, I'm right out of port, so I'm gonna use this adapter here. All right, now that we got our USB connected, I am going to go over to, uh, oh, like for example, I'm gonna use OBS, I know that's very popular live streaming. so. All you have to do is go to your sources here, go to the plus sign. You're going to add in a video capture device. Um, you can name it, I'm going to name it Switcher just for fun. Hit OK. And then I'm going to select our source, which is our capture video. And that's the output. So the, our video switcher actually outputs the program. So that's our program. And then there you go. There is our camera one. If I hit number two on our uh, switcher, it switches pretty easily. You can even use the little switcher here. There we go. Um, so, really easy to use and really easy to input with that capture device. Well, there you have it, GearHeads. As you can see, it's a pretty easy setup. I know there's a lot here. We, I know we went over a lot, but if you just take it slow, plug, plug in one thing at a time, uh, you should be good to go. And also, if you didn't happen to purchase a joystick, which is totally fine, we actually have a, other control software to control the cameras as well over the network. We have our BG Control uh, software app that you can download on Windows, Mac, an iPad or iPhone. You can control your cameras really easily as well. And uh, obviously we have a big mess of cables here. Don't leave it like this. We won't, we just, it's just for today's video, we just uh, have it all out, but make sure you clean up your cables, label them so um, you don't have a big old uh, wire headache. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you'll be notified next time a video like this comes out. And don't forget, have a great day.